Hey everyone, it's Aldo at Kixie here. So today I want to walk you through how to automate the process of creating a ticket inside of HubSpot by logging a HubSpot call outcome from the Kixie dialer. So let's dive into this. There's quite a few components and we're actually going to use Zapier to help us out with, with leveraging some of the HubSpot APIs. So the first thing that we actually want to do is create our list of call outcomes inside of HubSpot. Once we build our HubSpot call outcomes, those outcomes will be available in the Kixie dialer to select as an option. So as you can see here, all of my HubSpot call outcomes are reflected. So the next step is actually to kind of go into the Kixie dashboard, and we're going to use webhooks to build this automation out. So the webhook event that we're going to select is our dispositions, which basically means that the minute we log a call outcome from the Kixie dialer, we're going to send all of the information associated with that outcome, including the call, the contact ID, uh, the disposition that we logged, and other pertinent information. It's all going to be included. So We'll go into the dashboard and select disposition as the event. We can filter it out so that only the outcome we want to use for this use case is selected. I could select them all, but I'll just kind of use create ticket as the only outcome that I want to fire this webhook for. The next step is to set up a zap. And so the first thing we're going to do is actually use webhooks by Zapier as the trigger. And we've connected this endpoint to our Kixie dashboard over here. So that means that this zap will fire every time we log an outcome from the dialer. And there's a few things going on inside of this zap. So the first thing that I actually want to do is get the owner ID in HubSpot. And what's cool is that Kixie is going to give you the email address of the Kixie user who just logged that outcome. So then we can search for the HubSpot user ID using that email address. So I can I can look up by owner email is aldo at kixie.com and then it produces the owner ID. And this is going to be useful because then I'm going to use the create ticket in HubSpot action step. And I wanna make sure that Aldo is the owner. So I can plug in all of this useful Kixie information. Like I know the call was outgoing and it was a missed call from my phone number to the prospect's phone number. And I get all this information from the webhook data and I can go further, I can decide what ticket pipeline it's going to go into and what ticket stage it'll be at. And I can include all kinds of useful information in the ticket uh, description. And I can also make sure that the person who made the phone call and logged the outcome is the owner of the ticket or the creator of the ticket. Uh, and I can kind of customize this however uh, makes most sense for my process. Then I want to associate this ticket with the contact. Now, don't forget, we are going to include the HubSpot contact ID as part of the data that comes in when we log that outcome. So it becomes very easy for me to actually associate the, the ticket that I just created in a previous step with the HubSpot contact by using that contact ID. So I can take the, uh, the contact ID right here, and then I can associate it with a ticket ID from the previous step. And now I've already associated my newly created ticket with the corresponding HubSpot contact but I actually want to take this a little bit further. I also want to associate the call itself with that ticket. I'll quickly show you what that's actually going to look like inside of HubSpot. So basically I'm looking at the ticket and if I were to go to associated activities, I can see my call right here. So to do this, I'm using the HubSpot API. So this is actually, uh, first of all, a get request because First, I'm going to look for all of the call activities associated with this contact ID, and then they'll all come up as a result. And then I'm going to use Zapier's formatter to actually select the call, the most recent call activity, which is going to be the one that your agent just made because they just logged the outcome. So this will basically allow me to pick the most recent call activity ID from a list of IDs. And finally, I'm just going to create an update, I'm going to actually update the ticket and include the call ID from the most recent call as part of what I want to be associated with the ticket. And I know there's quite a few steps here, but the finished result is actually going to be, like I showed you, a newly created ticket with both the contact record and the call record associated with that ticket. So this is an easy way 
to quickly create tickets based off of certain types of phone calls. And we can use whatever call outcome makes the most sense. We can make sure that the Kixi user who made the phone call is either the owner or the, the creator of that ticket. We can include the call activity as part of the information on that ticket. And then we can also put the call recording and other call information in the ticket description. So if you have any questions about this or just need help finding those endpoints in HubSpot's API documentation, let me know and I'd be happy to help. Thanks.